Here we are, we're doing the sign rule, something called the ambiguous case. Now, believe it or not, there's actually two answers to this question. So we're going to take a look at the question, figure out why. We start off just as a normal sign rule question. A, B, C, A, B, C. Um, so we know C, so we're going to use um, sign C. And uh, we know B and we want to know B, so we're going to use that, B over sine B. We're going to put in all of the stuff we know, and then we're going to get an answer. Okay, so, so far so good. I've got an answer, 30.47. You can go back through my working if you want to know how I did it. Um, but wait a minute. This triangle, it's drawn roughly to scale. That's about 25 degrees, that's 6, that's 5. Um, this angle here, it's obtuse. It's bigger than 90 degrees. So why am I getting an answer that's 30.47? Well, it's because I'm finding that angle, but not in that particularly drawn triangle. Because believe it or not, if I take this 5 and pivot it around A like that, it still has a length of 5, right? And then I can extend this, this thing here and create this new angle theta here. Now, what have I done? Well, this triangle still has a base of 6, the pink one and the blue one. It still has an angle of 25, the pink one and the blue one. It still has this angle of this line of 5. So all of the things that I put into my sign rule, 5, 25, and 6, they exist in the pink triangle, and they also exist in the blue triangle. So the, both triangles can be described using those three things in the, um, in the same way. There's two answers to theta, and 30.47 isn't that theta, it's that theta. And so now the question I hope you're asking is, well, what's that theta then? That theta happens to be 180 minus 30.47, uh, which is 140-something. So our question has two answers. Theta equals 30.47 or 149.53. This is what we mean by the ambiguous case because we've described a triangle, but there's actually two triangles that that description fits. Now, all of this can be related back to the unit circle that we all know and love so much. You can see, remember, that the coordinates of these dots are cos theta sine theta, cos theta sine theta. You can see that we have two answers here for an inverse sine of some some positive number. We're going to have 30.47 in this case, and we're going to have 149.53. So that's related to this phenomenon. Um, okay, that's the ambiguous case. How do you know if you're looking at a possible ambiguous case? Only really two criteria here. The ambiguous case exists when you're finding an angle. So it doesn't exist when you're doing a sine rule and you're trying to find an unknown side, only when you're finding an unknown angle like we did here. And when the given angle, 25, when the given angle is acute, less than 90 degrees. If it's more than 90 degrees, then we're not going to have uh, an ambiguous case. It's pretty easy to see why, because our ambiguous case always puts something in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, as in an angle greater than 90 degrees. And if the one you were given is greater than 90 degrees, and the one you found is greater than 90 degrees, that means your internal angles would be greater than 180, which just isn't going to fly. So that's when the ambiguous case exists. Pretty simple to figure it out once you've, once you've got one answer. Um, that's the sign rule. That's the ambiguous case. That's all you need to know about it.